So Atletico versus Manchester United is happening 8pm on Wednesday. Please join my channel for that. I'm doing my first ever watch along of a football match. So I'm really looking forward to it. So please be with me. So let's talk about the game. Manchester United have been in shocking form. Like I've, I've literally been shocked by the form that we've been in. Considering the players that we've got, we've been absolutely shite. We've got a good manager as well now. We've got a manager with modern tactics. So we can't actually sort of point the finger in the manager's direction anymore, I don't believe. Whereas a lot of the time when Oli was there, it was like, oh, he's an inexperienced manager, this, that, this, that. But Ragnick's not like that. He's not inexperienced. He's got a very clear idea of what he wants on the pitch. He's playing a 4-3-3, which I actually believe is a good system. We've definitely had parts in games where we've played really well and we've looked good. And we just can't seem to get over the line. We can't seem to stop conceding shitty goals. We can't seem to sort of convert our chances at the other end. So that's left everyone with a bit of a sour taste in their mouth. So going into this Champions League game, I don't feel like hopes are very high among the United fan base. However, you've got to look at Atletico as well. They've slid into fifth place in La Liga. Now don't get me wrong, obviously that's higher up than Manchester United are, but La Liga's not a very good league, contrary to popular belief. It's not a particularly good league. Atletico Madrid have been in that top four and been finishing that top four for years. Very rarely are ever out of it. You've got to remember, La Liga is a duopoly. 70% of the revenue goes to Real Madrid and Barcelona from the TV rights of that league. So Atletico have done excellently to become the third best team in that league. But they are ultimately a selling club. If a good player goes to Atletico, then ultimately Atletico are going to have to sell them to a better club if a better club comes knocking. So they are a selling club. Just look at what they've done with Griezmann. I think it would be fair to say Atletico are not the same team they were sort of four or five years ago. When they had Saul, they had Gabi, they had Godan, they had Griezmann, you know, had all these players. They've still got, don't get me wrong, they're going to be a tough match for Manchester United. I think Atletico will provide a stiff test. If you look at if you look at their formation, they're still playing that flat 4-4-2. Simeone does a masterful job of deploying it. Two tough tackling centre midfielders, two sort of creative inverted wingers, and you've got two strikers that work really hard. And as always, a solid back four. So you know exactly what you're getting against Atletico Madrid. They're not unbeatable. They're, they're hard to beat. They'll be a tough game. But they're not unbeatable. And they've not been in very good form. And if you look at their form in the last few La Liga matches, they've actually been conceding a lot of goals. Like, I think most recently they beat Getafe 4-3. Like, conceding three goals against Getafe? Like, Getafe are a team that gets relegated from La Liga and then comes back up. Atletico are not playing well. So despite the fact that Manchester United have been absolutely shocking in the league, this might be the perfect storm for us. What I mean by this, I mean, I suppose you could say this about Atletico as well, but I genuinely think Manchester United, top four, looking seriously doubtful. Premier League, never going to win that. FA Cup, we're out. Champions League, last thing we can hang on to. I honestly think the will for this game will be massive. And we're playing the away leg first. Playing the away leg first is such a massive advantage. Unless that team batters you, then you've always got, you always feel like you've got a good chance in the second leg. If Atletico, for example, beat us 2-1 in this game, in the second leg we'll feel like we've got a very good chance of beating them 1-0 at Old Trafford. Even though winning 1-0 is not our specialty, but you know what I mean? It, it's definitely an advantage to have the away leg first. I think with the players that we've got as well, I actually feel like we match up okay with Atletico. Like, don't get me wrong, I think we can't get drawn into their game. Like, I think if we, if we enable their counter-attack in football, like if we try and go all out to hammer them, like if we sit, stick McTominay in front of the back four, stick Pogba and Bruno in front of him, I think ultimately that's where we could get undone. Those players are quite attacking minded, realistically. Like McTominay is not really, but he's not quite mastered the holding role yet. So I'll actually go with a completely different midfield three in this match. And the reason being is just that you want to keep things tight in the first legs, then we go to Old Trafford with us thinking that we've got the advantage. Now, don't get me wrong, I think we should try and nick an away goal, and I think Ronaldo, Sancho, Rashford, that's a front three that's very capable of doing that. So I just think we might as well pack our midfield with hard workers. The experience of Matic in the holding midfield role would be really good for Manchester United in this game. I think Matic should play as a number six in front of the back four. Back four, I'm not really sure what we do because I think Maguire is just fucking terrible. 
I don't know if Tellez is fit yet. If Tellez isn't fit, obviously we'll have to play Shaw. Dallo should probably continue to play ahead of wan because wan has just been very, very poor this season. But then, is Fred back? Because I, th- I actually think the best midfield three to play in this game would be Matic, Fred and Bruno. But if Fred is back, then I think he should play. He's good in the Champions League, and in this sort of game as well, where Athletic have a very high-energy midfield, and they like to counter-attack, I honestly think Fred's a great player for this sort of game. Like, I'm not I'm not a big advocate of Fred, because I don't necessarily think he's good enough for the starting level of, of Manchester United full-time. But I think for this sort of game in the Champions League, he's perfect for it. But I think Matic, Fred and Bruno is the midfield three we want to go for, with an attacking front three of Sancho... Ronaldo and Rashford. And then if we can keep it tight at Atletico and win 1-0 or you know even hold them to a one all draw, then we've got a real advantage going into the home game. Because Atletico are not a good team. When they have to attack, they're not a good team. They're not a good team at sort of being on the front foot and having to play that attacking football. If we, if we can stifle them somewhat at their own ground, rather than trying to go, go all out and attack against them and then enable what they like to do anyway... That gives us the best chance of winning. And I hope that Ragnick sees that. Because this is our last chance. In short though, I'm just going to be honest. I'm very, very confident about this game. Even though the Premier League form doesn't really give me any reason to be. This is the perfect storm for Manchester United. We're out of the league. Like I say, out of the top four possibly. Out of the FA Cup. The Champions League is the last thing that we've got. Atletico Madrid are off form. They are there for the taking. There for the taking. So let's go out and beat them. Let's go out and beat them. That's what needs to be being said to these players. Thank you very much for listening, guys. As always, please smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. As I said before at the start of the video, please join me for the watch-along at 8pm against Atletico Madrid.